What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So today's video, I want to show you guys one of the best formations to deal with man coverage in Madden 23. So if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So first and foremost, I am in the run heavy offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the run heavy offensive playbook. Now, before I tell you why I like this formation, why I chose to do a, a video on this particular formation, if you're interested in joining my CFL, uh, make sure you sign up with the link in the description. It is my website, All Things Madden. So if you go in there, you go under the Money CFL section and make sure you uh, go ahead and enter into that. So it's $10, and if you come in first place, you'll get $250. If you come in second, you'll get $50. So make sure you enter now. It's only current gen PS4 for right now. It's only current gen PS4. So. If you're interested in playing me or, you know, just being in the CFL, maybe both, make sure you go and sign up and you'll get a Discord link as soon as after you pay. And then you'll enter into the Discord and then you'll choose a team you want. That's kind of the way we'll do it. So uh, if you're interested in that. Now, also, if you're interested in ebooks, any ebooks that you like or maybe you want me to do a specific ebook for you, then go on the website. You'll see under the, you got personal ebook section and you have regular ebooks. Uh, it's me and also go to Mills on there as of right now. So uh, if you want some next gen ebooks, make sure you go check them out. Or if you want current gen, make sure you check out the ebooks that I have on there. I got about 10 or 11 at this point. So make sure you go check them out. All right, so enough of all that. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this single back trio formation is because it's, in my opinion, perfect for man coverage. The reason why is because we're able to block uh, seven people if we need to. Technically, we could block eight if we motion over a receiver. So we don't have to worry about the man blitz as much because that's what you're going to get. You're going to get people who's going to come out in three, four out, and they're going to uh, come out in a blitz or some type of you know heavy defensive package. So, for example, you get some uh, three, four odd. You may get Cub. You may get five, two, and they're going to just do nothing but man blitz you until you can show you can stop. Now, if you can stop it, then you'll start getting some three, three, um, or excuse me, some nickel three, three, where you're going to see, you know, still nickel blitz, even though it patched it, you still see it. Um, or you'll see some type of uh, nickel over right here, and you're going to see uh, over storm braid or just some type of man blitz. You're, you're going to get man blitz. And when you start doing that, they're going to start playing zone. And then you're really going to start to dot their face off with this type of offense. So really excited to show you this. So first and foremost, I just want to, I want to go in three, four odd. And what I'm going to do, is actually uh, show you realistically what you'll see. So what we're gonna do here is actually uh, take out Storm Brave One, and we're actually going to put a uh, man blitz in there that's popular, so pinch bucko, because you'll see that. And then once you start doing good against that, you'll start seeing basic cover four drop. So what I'm gonna do is come out and cover four drop. And then for offense, uh, personnel, it's just up to you. It just depends. You'll hear me say in the video, I'll, I'll prefer speed, I'll prefer route running. You know, it doesn't matter. That's how you'll hear it. So just make sure you're kind of paying attention. So without further ado, man, I really only want to talk about two plays for passing the ball. Excuse me, three. Three plays for passing. I want to show you the run plays that I like. So I love uh, halfback stretch against certain defenses. The same thing about halfback dive. I don't really use bubble screen. It can work. I just would rather just use the RPO version, which is the halfback stretch. And also, they have the dive, which is my favorite run play in this formation. And lastly, uh, they do have this toss, which can work versus certain defenses. And also, they do have this zone week, which is okay. It's just, like, like I said, these run plays really depend on what defense they're running. So what I'm going to do is kind of just show you um, the run plays. So I put halfback stretch, halfback dive. And what I'm going to do is come out and um, actually, you know what? Let me just put all of them in here real quick for you. So we'll do zone week. And then we're also going to put in um, halfback delay. And then what we're going to do is come out in the um, HB toss. Because I just want to show you the run plays, you know. So when you run this offense, you really want to always make sure you have your three receivers to the wide side of the field. It's really, really important for you to do that so we can have great spacing. Now, the halfback toss, uh, it's just your typical toss. Now, most people will baseline their three, four odd to actually give you this kind of look. So what we're going to do is just kind of simulate that. So notice with 3-4 odd, we kind of can get the edge, but it's just not the best, you know. So um, it all depends. Like I said, it, just, it literally just depends on what defense they're running, but it doesn't hurt to try. That's why I like this formation. They have a lot of running plays you can try. Now, what's cool is you also can flip this play, but from what I found out, flipping a play, um, it doesn't make them block better, even though we have the numbers to this side. Um, for some reason, they still just don't block it correctly. So let me kind of show you that. So notice how uh, we probably could have went outside, but... Most of the time, they really don't block it the way they're supposed to. So I really don't like to flip it. But again, it's one of those things. It just matters on the defense. So, you know, if you want to try it, notice how that time we try to go outside and there are just a lot of people there. So it really isn't the best 
um, flipping the play. So it's just better just to run it uh, whatever way it's intended to go. Now, uh, dive, obviously, is just a regular dive. Now, when you run this dive play, you want to double team this D tackle at all times. It's going to kind of help you get great animations on them. And notice how we're able to get about five, six yards. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a sore throat, so I'm going to be kind of coughing a little bit. But uh, anyway, zone weak. Uh, the next one I want to talk about now, same thing with zone weak. I like to double team that D tackle. It's just going to help get better blocks. So notice how right there we kind of have a cutback lane. But you can tell you want to just really kind of just figure out these run plays. Figure out if they could uh, work against your opponent or not. So, again, zone week. I'll show you what it looked like if we flipped it. And you could just kind of see how uh, Kenny Clark's going to go crazy. But we still have those lanes, and that's all that's important. So, anyways, uh, last one I'm going to show you is halfback delay. Again, you want a double team ID tackle. It just helps get great animations. And this is good for if they're trying to really call pass, like if they're pass committing. This is when it's good to hit the delay because you actually get a lot of great yards. So, Anyways, uh, last thing I will show you is the stretch and then show you just throwing this RPO because it also depends on what they're playing. Um, it's one of those RPOs where they go up the field. Just wanted to make sure I did show that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. All right. So that's going to be it for the run plays. Um, now, for what you guys probably care about is the pass because it's important to establish the run, but you also need to know how to pass because you're going to get man blitzed. I can promise you that. So what we're going to do, I like Smash Texas and then I also love... Um, now, there's other plays I do love for man coverage, but just in a nutshell, just that what I want to give in today's video is going to be Smash Texas, Slot Chase, and what I'm going to do is come out in PA Boot, but I'm going to save PA Boot for the last thing I talk about. So, what I want to do is actually come out in um, Pitch Bucko. So, what you're going to have to do is most of the, so what I'm going to go over first is Max Protecting, like basically only sending three routes out, because to me, I don't believe, if you want to be honest, I don't believe in, um, what am I trying to say? I don't believe in blocking eight people to stop something um, because there's just too many people to block. So I'm always going to send three people out. So if I wanted to run this, I love this angle route. So what I need to do is actually block my tight end. And then I like the smart off circles route. And I'm going to take this receiver right here, motion him across. Now I'm going to press two. And you want to uh, you want to uh, make sure he goes in there to snap the ball. Not snap the ball, Jesus Christ. You want to make sure that he uh, you motion him and then snap the ball right when he's at the tackle spot so he can actually help out and pick up the blitz. So right here, we're sending three people out. So the only thing I hate about this sometimes is that they still don't register very good. <coughs> Excuse me, I left my water in, uh, in the kitchen. But the only thing I don't like sometimes is that they don't register who to block good. So notice how he kind of gets him, but it allows him to come free. Oh my Jesus, my throat. But um just be very, very careful with that. So a better setup that I like. <coughs> I apologize. I'm actually sick. Um, I apologize, y'all. But uh, if you want to utilize um, Smash Texas, another way you can do it, if you have a great tight end, you can just block your running back. Not tight end, excuse me. You can just max pro. And this way, they'll actually pick it up a lot better. Take circle, put them on a smart route. And I like to take square, put them on a drag, and motion them across. And now we're gonna read double drags to corner concept. So it's kind of so you're looking at circle though. <coughs> so you want to make sure you have your best route run at a circle, and that that way you're gonna get great great animations on that. So this is good because the user is normally gonna sit right here where you see this guy at because it's the user's natural natural response to sit in the middle to pick which drag he wants to cover. And the whole time we're gonna look out here. So, love, love this concept right here because that corner out is a man beating corner out. <coughs> oh, sorry, y'all. I got to hurry up and wrap this video up. My throat is killing me. All right. So, love that play. Uh, slot, uh, excuse me. Uh, Smash Texas. Now, slot chase. If they are man blitzing us heavy, we can block our tight end. Take square. Put them on a slant. Then we're going to motion and slant across. <laughs> so this is a good switch up play because now what we're looking at is circle and we're just trying to buy time and we're going to drift this way and then we're going to hit circle right there now we don't have to drift that way all man practice mode sheds are just crazy so the best thing to do is just to sit in the pocket if you can <laughs> yeah I gotta wrap this video up but um you really just want to read from the drag and you want to read the slant to angle route concept both of these will beat man coverage the drag route can beat man 
and you want to make the user choose between these two routes. And the reason I'm talking about man blitz a lot is because that's what you're gonna see, right? <coughs> now, um, last thing that I want to talk about in today's video is gonna be this PA boot. So, versus the all-out man blitz, you want to block your running back, block your tight end. You want to take circle, put him on a slant. And then I like to take square, put him on a slant. And then we're going to motion this slant across. <coughs> oh, sorry, y'all. So my reprogression is triangle, but notice how triangle's route is going to just kind of torch man. And notice who that is on him. That's Jerry Alexander. That route is so good against man coverage. They have to pretty much put a deep half to stop that route. So kind of notice what happens. Uh, notice how he kind of just gets off press. That doesn't happen every time, but it kind of will. So I would put my best route runner here, or my best overall receiver. And you can kind of tell he just really just does a great job of running away. And we have a motion over slant that beats man. And this route can, it depends on if they're pressing him or not. But if you notice, he's off the ball. <coughs> and so what that means is, by default, he can't get pressed because he's off the ball. So uh, we're still able to block, you know, seven people and then pick a dot that we want. But anyways y'all i'm sorry i gotta wrap this video up if you want more on this formation please make sure you check out the ebook i'll be happy to show you my zone dots versus zone blitz and things of that nature so just make sure you go to allthingsmadden.com and request this formation again i'm sorry uh my throat i just can't take it uh but it's just uh it's just a lot right now so anyways that is all i wanted to give you i just wanted to show y'all versus all out man blitz because that's what you'll see if you run this offense I just want to show you that uh, you can block seven and still dissect the opponent. So anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I do hope you have a blessed day. I'm Rage Rail, and I'm out.